Rob Bills, subscriber Rob Bills has been asking for this song for Lord knows how long and have finally put it together. So here we go, Rob. This is a tutorial for Paul McCartney's Ram On from the album Ram in 1971. Arguably one of the best Paul McCartney solo albums ever recorded. Although at the time it got a thumbs down from a lot of the music press, but what the hell do they know? So here we go. So these are the chords that we're going to be using. Now it's actually a little bit tougher than uh, I actually thought um, initially, because you've got this tricky bar chord here. But don't worry, we will get through this. So first of all, these are the chords that we're looking at. So we're going to be using a C sharp major seven. So this is how to play a C sharp major seven, or the way I play it anyway. I use my first finger across the first fret, all the strings, and then I use, I think I use my third finger, but you can use your fourth finger if you want on the first, of the third fret, first string. So I'll just get close up so you can see what I'm doing there. So first finger, first fret, then third or fourth finger on the third fret, first string whichever you find easier. Then you take off your third finger and you're just left with a C sharp six. So that's just across the top first fret there, across all the strings. And then we've got the uh, C major, nice easy chords now. Third finger, third fret, first string. And then we've got an F major using your first finger on the first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string. Then if you notice at the end, what I've done is actually included a bit of the uh, Ram on reprise, which you'll find at the end of side two on Ram. And it's that, who's that coming round that corner? So these are the chords you're gonna be using for that. So you've got a C, which we've already got. Now we've got an F sus four. So to play an F sus4, basically you leave your third finger on the third fret, first string, place your first finger on the first fret, second string, and then your second finger goes on the third fret, fourth string. And then the next chord is 
is basically an F version two, what I'm calling an F version two. So it's basically just an F chord, first finger, first fret, I'll say that again, first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, but you've got your third finger on the third fret, first string. So what you should have is this kind of thing. Anyway, we'll come to that in a minute. Let's first of all have a look at this little riff. So what you're actually doing is you're starting off with a couple of notes to kick off the riff. So what I tend to do is I've got my first finger on the first fret ready to play the C sharp. Um, the, the, what, what chord is it now? The C sharps major seven. So it's that chord. So I'm leaving my first finger where it is there and I'm using my third and fourth finger on the third fret, second string. So there's your third finger. So you pluck that note, the second string, and then use your fourth finger on the fourth fret, second string. Then you jump onto the third fret, first string with either your third or fourth finger, whichever you find easier. So I'll just play that again slowly. And then you start with an upstroke. So you're kind of going bom, bom, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you play these two notes again. And then what I tend to do this time is down, up, 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 down. And then we go to the C sharp uh, major seven again. And then the C sharp six. And then we go to the C. And then to the F. C. F. C. F. C. F. C. So I'll play that again very slowly because, like I say, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, um, than you first anticipate, really. So I'll just play this again. So don't forget, I've got my first finger on the across the first fret, ready to play that C sharp uh, major seven. So that finger's ready there. So what I'm doing now is just plucking the first two opening notes. So my third finger is on the third fret, second string. So pluck that. And then fourth finger on the fourth fret, second string. Oops, I'll get it right. And then jump your third finger or fourth finger, whichever you prefer, onto the third fret first string. So you're ready with your C sharp major seven. And then you're doing a up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you're doing a plucking the third fret second string again. Fourth fret second string. And then this time we go to a C sharp six. And then this time we don't bother with the little the two notes we just jump straight back to the c sharp major seven then c sharp six then we go to the c so it's just two strokes on the c two strokes on the f two on the c two on the f two on the c Two on the F, one on C, one on F, one on C. So what I'll do now is I'll sing the um, words. I won't pitch it up to uh, McCartney's beautiful falsetto because uh, it's always easier just to sing a bit lower when we're doing a tutorial. So here we go. Start with your C sharp major seven. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Give your now 
to C sharp six. Add to somebody. Now C with sharp major seven. So. C6, way, rider. Now we're alternating between the C and the F, so we're doing two strums on each. Way, F, C, F, C, F. And now one stroke on each, C, F, C. And now you can do the little riff again. Ram on, and then C sharp major seven. C sharp six, hard to somebody. C sharp major seven, so rider. C sharp six, way rider. Now we go to the C, alternating between the C and the F. Way F. C, one on F, one on C, C, F, C. And now we go to the instrumental. So it's basically doing exactly what we've done for the intro and the verses. So don't forget those two little notes if you want to get your fingers ready for the C sharp major seven. Then C sharp six. C sharp major seven. Six. Ba, 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 ba. Now C to F to C to F. C, F, C, F, C, F, C, F, C. Ram on. And now we go back to the C sharp major seven. Give your C sharp six. C sharp major seven. So, rider. And now to C sharp six. Way, rider. Now we go to the C. Way, uh, F, C, F, C, F, C, F, C, F, C. And now we start strumming. Uh, the little uh, outro bit, the coda bit. And what I'm doing here strumming-wise is just down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So I'll do that again slowly. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And we're working through the C, the F sus4, and the F version 2. So here we go. C. F sus4. F version 2 and it comes in uh, so I'll just show you where it comes in C F sus4 F version 2 back to C now we go to the F sus4 who's that and then to F version 2 coming round back to C left corner and then to F sus4 who's that F version 2, coming round, and then if you want, you can finish on the C, because on the um, the recording, uh, obviously, it fades out at the end of uh, side 2. So I'll just do that last bit again. So we're on the C. So don't forget, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Then we go to the F sus4, F version 2, and then back to the C. Now to the F sus4. Who's that? F version 2. Coming round. Back to C. Bad corner. F sus4. Who's that? F version 2. Coming round. And then finish on a C. Okay, so um, like I say, bit of a tricky one actually. Not many chords, but it's just um, you've got these kind of bar chords here, the C sharp major 7 and the C sharp 6, which uh, can uh, be a little bit sort of uh, stressful on your uh, chord hand really. You've got to really kind of 
grab at the neck and press down with your thumb there to get a really tight grip. Okay, so I'm just going to go through that beginning again, so just to make sure you know. So as I say, when you're doing the... You kind of got your first finger ready to play that C-sharp major 7, so it's on the first fret. So here we go. And then you jump your third finger to the third fret, first string. Bless me, I haven't nearly sneezed then, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so here we go. And then you play those two notes again. And then this time to a C6. Then you go back to your C sharp major 7. C sharp 6. And then C to F to C to F to C to F C F C Ram on and then you're into the main the main verse. Okay, right, we've been through it. Let's give it a go together. One, two, or oh, one, two, three. certainly uh, had it in the old uh, falsetto stakes that's for sure could really uh, reach them high notes and that's you know why uh, Ram's one of the best albums if you listen to songs like Monkberry Moon Delight and the screaming high vocals just uh, there's nobody else that could touch him well thank you very much Rob Bills for uh, requesting this song many months ago now so I finally got there Rob so uh, thank you for uh, suggesting it don't forget, if you've liked this tutorial, enjoyed it and found it useful, just give me a like and give the uh, channel a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It really does the uh, channel uh, a lot of use. And if you've got any songs you'd like me to teach you in the future, just leave me a message in the comment section. Take care for now. Bye-bye.